one of well, first, first of all, one of one problem that Google has is the message time. It takes some time for the message uh, from the, uh, the master to reach the the, the, class, the client, the bot. And this is because we don't want the bot the bot to be too noisy. We don't want it to fetch every uh, second uh, to look if there is a new message. We want it to do it every uh, one hour, and uh, one hour may be too long. For the master uh, to wait until the bot uh, 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 performs the action that is intended uh, to do. Uh, however, there is some solution for that. Uh, if on each message there will also be a next message time or timestamp that will tell the bot uh, that the next message uh, will come in one hour. Maybe normally it would be in one hour, but if the uh, bot master is conducting a flood attack, and you may want to change the flood attack very quickly, then you will say, okay, now we give a particular hour, I want you to check messages every uh, minute or every 10 seconds. So there is some kind of work around for this problem uh, from the point of view of Google. So how uh, can Google be stopped? Well, the obvious uh, uh, solution is to add those sites uh, uh, anti bot tools like uh, Captcha and uh, Login Processor. Uh, and they are, they are indeed will, uh, will stop uh, Toolbox from using those sites that have added those uh, tools. But there is a problem. Uh, the internet nowadays is trying to be uh, faster and quicker and the user experience better. And users don't like CAPTCHA. Uh, they also uh, uh, and in some places prefer not to do login. If there is a login, uh, if there is a login um, a request, and the user may go to a different site. And the business model of uh, many companies is not to uh, easily uh, include them. They may include those solutions when having no other alternative. But again, so what is using is expected to use so many sites that some sites will always remain uh, without this protection and will uh, suffer the consequences and will make Google leave in those sites and leave at the whole. Uh, um, well, we don't have any other uh, brilliant idea about how to stop Google, but we're bringing all this information forward uh, because we expect that uh, there may be projects like Google or similar uh, to the concept that we have shown, and uh, we will be very happy to hear your uh, ideas about how to uh, stop such a botnet, how to make it ineffective. And uh, with that, uh, we conclude uh, our lecture. Uh, thank you very much, and if you have questions, we will be very happy to answer them. Have you considered any ways of hiding what lobbies you are intending to use, like dividing the botnet into parts and yet including one or two lobbies in each binary that you distribute somehow, um, to, 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 yeah, to make it harder, basically? Um, uh, well, uh, we didn't really consider that, and I explained why. Um, we didn't uh, try to rely on the botnet code uh, being obfuscated or, uh, or uh, con concealed or any other means which would not uh, eventually uh, be revealed by the security community. Uh, actually, we did the opposite. We are assuming that the two bot codes or, the, or, the sim or similar botnet will be uh, captured by the security community and will be fully reverse engineer. You can assume that the security community has Google code at its hand. And still we think that uh, that uh, nothing much can, can be done against it. Even if they have the code. We don't rely here on uh, obscurity at all. Um, so for this reason, we didn't have to think about uh, uh, splitting the lobby. 
between uh, uh, different instances of the bot. Uh, don't see uh, any uh, any uh, problem at all. So even having a single lobby seems to be sufficient uh, at this point of time. Um, just wanted to, to um, maybe to, to add to this uh, answer. Um, we one of our working assumptions was we we trying to create um, the botnet and in a similar structure to how we design a cipher, which means you don't have security internals, you expose everything out, and if there's a problem, there's a problem. So basically, even if uh, and we will give first sort of the botnet, it is still strong because there is no association in it or there is no uh, trick in the code. Um, you, you can divide the different lobbies, you can use it for different botnets, but the, the idea that even when the good guys and even the law enforcement knows about the lobby, all you guys are going to do right now is raise conditioning. And since you're mastering of a boat, and the boat is bigger and has more reserves, it will eventually win. It might not win in the first second, it might not win in the first minute, but after an, an hour it will win. And once you will have a private channel, these people will not have the ability to take you down anymore because they will not know what the private channel has been negotiated. So, um, yes, you, you can, of course, add to all these methods of anti-reverse steering, packing, and, and etc. But the idea remains strong even as an open postman, even as an open source. Thank you. Hello. Um, did you consider the um, a scenario where, the, for example, you are using Mailinator, and Mailinator wants to block you because you are generating too much, okay? 